Now let's move towards the next topic that is the JSON filter. Since we have a JSON array, in order to extract the information from the JSON array, it's a complex task. To perform this task, we have the filter method available. And let's move towards that filter method. Let's extract the employees working with the IT department. So employees dot apply the filter method. And within the filter method, you need to apply the lambda expression where department is equal to the IT. We have already seen the difference between the triple equal to and double equal to in our previous session. So what happened here is employees array will filter the data inside the employees array and extract the information which has department IT and it is given back to the variable EMPIT. Let's log it to the console, console.log and print the employees run the application and see the result. Now we can see only two employees being displayed working with the department ID. Let's apply some more filters. A constant employee about 25 equals employees array dot apply the filter on employees array and extract the employee having age about 25 using this lambda expression and let's log it console.log employee with age about 25 go to the terminal and let's run it again and now we can see that the employee with age about 25 is printed why 25 is not printed because you haven't applied the equal to sign here you have asked to print only the employees above 25. now what if if you have a complex condition if you have a complex condition it is suggested that to write condition somewhere else if it is the complex one let's take an example constant condition equals x arrow x dot age less than 25 logical and and x dot department equal 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 to it so this is my condition it could be a very long condition also then console dot log and apply the filter on employees array employees dot filter and instead of lambda expression inside it provide the condition that you have written in some variable so this huge or large condition can be put into one variable and that variable can be passed to the filter method and hence it will filter the employees and will get me the employee working with IT and having age less than 25. Let's run it, note and see the result. This is the output. It is printing the employee working with IT and having age less than 25. So that particular employee got printed okay, for the condition state. So this is how you can apply the filter for the filtration of JSON data or JSON array data or any complex JSON data. Okay, stay tuned for the upcoming sessions. Thanks.